really can't complain. Wave. Yeah. I'm in it for keepsake. In a field with the cleat lace. Beat foot with the bare face and a slick tie. That's what she say. She look good. She a big tease when she biting lip with the wink face. Hella bad when she throwing it back. She bring out my way for the team play. For Pete's sake, I'm above average. I'm padding my stat. I got a matter what he say. I'm the 2010 yeah, LeBron James off the bat. Hey, internet people, and welcome back to Silent Shed Gaming for a new series where we take a look at some gameplay and go over what we think after sinking just a few hours into it. Basically, it's our first impressions. I'm Danger Zone Dares, and today we're going to be dropping into Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remastered. To the tabloid, fuck how I live it into existence. I be ahead of myself, but the bank account did jump up a couple figures. But like nobody could. All right, so here it is Tony Hawk Remastered. But is this what we've been waiting for? The revitalization of a series that meant a lot to us Ugh, 90s kids? Well, we're gonna find out. The original Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 released in the years 1999 and 2000 respectively, but this time around we get a special treat of a remaster of both in one game for the price of $40, which I think is actually a pretty solid price point for something like this. I wouldn't really ever want to pay more than $40 for a remaster, that's just my opinion. But we're gonna dive right into the visuals because I know that's what most of us really want to see and that's what I'm most excited to show off, and I'm also gonna be putting some picks up here and there for comparison with the old games. All right, so right off the bat, you can see that this game looks pretty freaking sick. They did an amazing job reworking the old levels and making them look like they were never out of the current generation of games. I think this is due to a lot of things because the attention to detail here is pretty damn good. You can really tell that some of the fans of the original were working on this game. The added textures of the levels, the fantastic shadow and lighting effects, and the character models looking way better. Even if they do still look a little funky still, all of this is way better than the original. One of the big things to notice is the updated backdrops of each of the levels it makes it feel more like it's a real place in the world somewhere and adds depth to it. Another neat feature was that they added an updated character customization, which in general is just better than it was before, but they also reworked it a bit more to allow for female and male character creation. Woo! Progress! Even the animations are just synced up so perfectly and the movement just looks really natural in the game. I also want to mention quickly that the sound design and the music selection here is amazing, just as it was back in the day, and they even added more artists to the roster, and it's just really great, and if you want to listen to it for copyright reasons, I can't actually show it to you in this video, so you're gonna to have to check out the playlist they put on Spotify. Honestly, I didn't own any of these Tony Hawk games myself. I mostly had Underground and American Wasteland, but I do remember going over my cousin's houses a lot and playing these, so it's just all still really nostalgic. These level designs and reworked graphics still make you feel like you're right at home and bring you back to that classic childhood or teenage days kind of vibe. And if you've never played one of these before, well then honestly, I don't think you'd mind the way it looks now because it's probably one of the better looking skate games that I've seen released in a while. Okay, so the biggest fear with any of these reworks is always, are they gonna f the game up? We all think about it every single time. If you're gonna ruin the gameplay, or if the gameplay is just not gonna feel right in proportion to the rework visuals, then don't do it at all. And I stand by that way of thinking, but this is not that. This gameplay is almost exactly the same, but tweaked ever so slightly in all the right ways. It's not very dated feeling gameplay at all. Everything feels really crispy, and the game still has those great levels with all those different objectives. Now, some of those objectives require you to skate hard combos, for example, or reach high scores, others ask you to collect unique collectibles, or ask you to perform tasks like grinding the specific railing over there or hitting different spots around the level. It's all a lot of fun and very simple. You beat the objectives, you unlock new parks, skaters, upgrade points for your character, as well as cosmetic items for your skaters. Now, as I said earlier, visually, the movements and controls and the animations are synced up perfectly it just all feels so natural to this new remastered version you can tell they updated the game to be a little bit more responsive than in the past and make it play just how you remember it but honestly better it's modernized in the subtlest ways the game even goes beyond and adds reverts and manual tricks as well as spine transfers from some of the later games so that you can combo even harder than you could in the past in these new modernized versions of them they even have a fun new online multiplayer mode where you can compete against other players that is actually just a lot of fun and very reminiscent of the 
skate multiplayer. Playing the levels like Hangar or the Mall or the School just feels so good. I mean, I suck at this game, and honestly, I always have. I'm much better at skate, but good God, this game is just so much fun solo or in multiplayer, really whatever you choose to do. It's great to just skate around and try a trick line over and over and over again until I finally pull it off. It feels really rewarding to get those objectives done. I mean, honestly, if I can have this much fun with it and be this bad, I'm sure others can too. All right, now that we've taken a look at the game, I'm sure you already understand that I definitely recommend this game, and I think it's worth the $40, but not for everyone. Honestly, as a major skate one, two, and three player, I found it really hard to go back to the button press and then the direction control scheme. I found myself messing up a lot because of that, and I imagine that that might mean for new players, there's probably a pretty decent learning curve. Another thing really is that there's no story content to this game, so if you're looking for that or a career mode at the very least, these games don't actually actually have one. To me, not really a big deal. I played the originals and they weren't there, but to others, that might possibly be a disappointment. Lastly, my only other hang up would be that, are you even into skateboarding? If not, then yeah, probably not going to give a flying fuck about this game. And I would say that if this is your first skateboard game and you are interested, this is probably what you should give a shot. And if you're not into skating at all, I just don't think this will be for you. So there you have it. Those are my impressions of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remastered. Honestly, I want to hear what you guys think though yourself. Have you picked this title up already? Are you an old school player? And if so, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll go fail at a trick line for a couple more hours.